U.S. intelligence has reportedly revealed that Russian President Vladimir Putin has ordered his troops to invade Ukraine, while Moscow on Sunday extended its military exercises in Belarus along Ukraine's northern border. Ukraine's president appealed for a ceasefire in eastern Ukraine as United States intelligence said Russian commanders were making specific battlefield plans that could be implemented in hours or days. Senior Biden administration officials made the rounds of the TV news shows to make their case again that Russia is trying to stage a pretext to invade Ukraine. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin told ABC's This Week that he still holds out hope for a diplomatic solution but thinks a Russian invasion of Ukraine is imminent and that Moscow's military has passed the point of muscle flexing and intimidation. Mr. Austin said, I don't believe it's a bluff. I think he's assembled the kinds of things that you would need to conduct a successful invasion. CBS reported Sunday that Russian troops have actually received orders now to proceed with the invasion. According to CBS News reporter David Martin, said on Face the Nation, not only are Russian forces nearing the border, but the commanders on the ground are making specific plans for how they would maneuver in their sector of the battlefield. They are doing everything that American commanders would do once they got the order to proceed. Belarusian defense officials announced that military exercises involving almost 30,000 Russian troops in their country will continue. Moscow now has almost 200,000 troops poised near Ukraine border, almost half of its total armed forces. Those in friendly Belarus are less than a three hour drive from Kiev, the Ukrainian capital. Biden administration officials said. Extending the Russian war games in Belarus smacks of the kind of false flag operation Russia could use as part of a pretext to invade Ukraine. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said on Face the Nation The 30,000 Russian forces that were supposed to end this weekend will now continue because of tensions in eastern Ukraine, tensions created by Russia and the separatist forces it backs there. Everything we're seeing tells us that the decision we believe President Putin has made to invade is moving forward.